So here's another point that we really want to get across. And think about this for a second. And it's funny because um, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of a real geek about words and where they came from. I'm a real history uh, geek and thinking about what was the root of where uh, certain things come from. So without tension, no one pays attention. If there isn't tension in a message, and I don't mean negative, I don't mean to uh, go off and make things that are negative or hy hypercritical about things, but if there isn't that antagonist and protagonist, why would I engage? Why would I ever pay attention to it? And that's what led me to think, it's maybe that word attention, and what do I know? I'm just hypothesizing here. Maybe that word attention is, uh, or the root word for that was tension. Because when you think of it, if we put tension into our work, and I think, uh, again, Shepard's an expert at this, that people will engage. People will uh, look, turn their head, say, huh, what? Oh, look at that. Which is, it's our job, right? Our job is to get people to care about what we do. So before when I said, no one cares about what you say, it's our job, it's our industry's job to make people care. So tension is an interesting way to get people to pay attention and to care. We're going to get into a little bit of cultural context now. Um, you can see up, up here, uh, it was chaos in America. It was actually chaos globally in the 1960s. Um, we had Vietnam raging. We had assassinations to amazing people like Martin Luther King, Robert Kennedy. Um, you had rock stars committing suicide. Uh, we had uh, civil rights uh, atrocities happening in, in, in our country and actually globally. But even in Europe and Northern Ireland, what was going on in 1969. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it from a graphic uh, design perspective, something that popped out of all of this was this tiny little symbol that still today is recognized by every man, woman, and child alive. It's, uh, it, it, it's such a simple, iconic image, and it began, uh, it, was, it was created in 1958 as an anti-nuclear prolif proliferation symbol, um, and then somehow took hold. And you know, there have been plenty of symbols for, for peace historically uh, for hundreds of years before that. There's the dove with the olive branch, but this reduced it to something that could be um, on, a, on a button, in a, in a fabric design, on a t-shirt, um, woven into psychedelic album art. And it became, um, first of all, a really um, strong symbol of, of counterculture defiance against the war, which was um, you know, being, being uh, allowed to continue or embraced by, by the mainstream culture. But you saw, a, you saw a tipping point as the counterculture actually became the dominant culture. And a symbol like this that was very easy for people to share, um, it, became, it became viral, it became a meme, was something that, that was really at the, you know, at, at, at the forefront of taking that counterculture perspective and pushing it into, into, the, into the dominant culture. And I think it probably helped that there was a lot of great music and musicians that were, that were pushing this, but the power of an of a easily recognizable symbol um, to, you know, to proliferate is, you, you can't underestimate it.